Morning all, I hope you're well. This morning, smoking my Son Refberg brandy, and in it we have some Esoterica Dorchester. Very, very tasty stuff. And it's been sitting in my jar for quite some time now. It must have a couple of years on it. Covered in sugar crystals. Gives it some lovely sweetness. Well, this morning I've just picked up a package from the post office from the Danish pipe shop. And we shall open it. It's a very big box, which I don't understand because I only ordered one pipe. Well, perhaps. Recycling box that we've got. It would be quite comical. <laughs> One pipe, but it is quite comical. I hope you're all having some decent weather. The weather is really very summery at the moment. It's overcast today, but it's warm. Lots of paper. Some sweeties. A couple of bags of sweeties. And we have the little uh, guidance on how to smoke a pipe. Some stickers. I haven't had stickers from the Danish pipe shop for a while. And there it is. Well, it's a bigger box than usual, so presumably we needed a decent sized box to protect it. Um, this pipe is not a filtered pipe, um, but it's a special pipe, and it's why I went for it. And it's, it's really a rare collectible pipe for me. I don't collect pipes as such in the name of collection um, but on this occasion it was kind of a it's kind of a, a pivotal thing and that is because this is a pipe which was um, has the name of Richard Carlton Hacker on it. Um, he released two pipes back in 2001 and 2002 um, and this was um, this particular batch of pipes was made um, in a Sheraton factory um, and it was made from original Sheraton Briar, which was aged and been, had been sitting in the warehouse for a long time. Uh, that's according to, to the website of Richard Carlton Hacker. I couldn't find much about it other than the fact that there was only, I think, 150 made, so they're quite rare. And this is unsmoked and fully boxed and, and with its original sock. So I, I, for me, it seemed like something which was very um, appropriate to have in your collection. Um, as something which was quite, uh, which marks the, I don't, want, I don't want to say the history of pipe making because the pipe making is a lot older than Richard Carlton Hacker, but um, I actually, when I read his book, um, I, I just, it kind of connected with me. Um, and so, so therefore it kind of, the name had a little bit of meaning. Um, I actually really enjoyed, a lot of people sort of, I've, I've heard and, and seen online on, on news groups and things like that where people start, kind of poke fun at his books, um, that they're just a load of, just sort of, I wouldn't say drivel, but just uh, kind of, anyway, I think it's a great book. I enjoyed reading it. Um, I really connected with it. Um, it's written in a very enjoyable, readable style, um, and it's um, very, very informative. Once you get through all the chit chat, there's a lot of information, nomenclature, history, pipe history, there's there's a phenomenal amount of information in that book. And when you go on websites like Pipedia and, and other um, nomenclature websites, they're often really quite mind-boggling and difficult to, to navigate. Um, whereas he gives it to you on a plate, um, and I, I think that's very helpful and very useful. Um, so I, I, I got a connection when I, um, when I read the book. Um, so it meant something to me. So I saw this come up. Um, as unsmoked, and I just thought it was an opportunity 
and um, I haven't seen them come up online anywhere. Um, I've had a look on eBay to see if they come up, but um, so far I've not seen it. This is Carlton Hacker, Signature Edition 2001. Nice presentation box. There we go. A pretty little box. If you're seeing this the first time, same time as me, people. A beautiful saddle bit stem, a billiard, smooth top, and what an amazing sandblast. What an amazing, amazing sandblast. One of the things which caught my eye, really. But I do like a saddle bit stem, I really do. And um, the shank is beefy enough to convert if I want to convert it, which is also another reason that I kind of pulled the trigger. It's silver band with the signature, the hacker signature on there. Drilled to perfection, it's bang center at the bottom of the bowl. A good tight fit. I've got to tell you, everything is right on this. It's on the money. A beautiful countersunk mortise, the drill, dead center, absolutely dead center. I don't know if you can get it, if I can get it head on. You can see the. There you go, dead center. I've said this in the past. Anybody who can't drill a straight shanked pipe dead center isn't worth their money a lovely looking pipe bit of resistance on the draw I'm trying to see if this is a, a sandblast or a rustication but it's most definitely a sandblast Bottom there, that you there if you can catch that. But it reads um, Richard Carlton Hacker, Signature Edition 2001, made in England, 925 on the band, silver, sterling silver. That's awesome. Very, very happy with that. Quite a craggy sandblast. It's not like any other sandblast I've seen, really. It's 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 just uh, it's amazing, really. Ingrain there. Amazing. I really don't know if I'm going to smoke this one or not. It's going to be a tough one to decide. Uh, for me, it's certainly uh, a nice piece of pipe history. Anyway, time to make a move. Something I have noticed actually, with some uh, filters, and I've not really been taking note of which filter I've got. I've got like a, a hundred gram tin, empty tin, which I use in my drawer. And I fill it with nine mil filters, and uh, I just dip into it. three different makes of filter in that pot, in that tin, and I haven't really taken uh, note of, um, 
I don't really take note of which one I take out each time. But what I've noticed is that some of them um, when I've finished a pipe it comes out quite clean. I, I basically change my filter every single time at this point in time. Uh, I always have since I started using 9mm filters. Officially they're, uh, you know, they're good for four or five uses, some people even them longer. But um, I change them every single time. And uh, sometimes when I take the filter out, it's quite dry and clean. And other times it will be absolutely sopping wet. And you can see like brown bits leaching out of the side. Not just liquid, but just like, it's almost like the in insides are leaching out of the side of the tube. Um, and it will be soaking. with a, a dry tobacco. Now, I don't know if it's the filter, the pipe, the tobacco, or all three, um, but I'm going to have to kind of take note of it in the future and try and work out what it is, why some times the filters are absolutely filthy and gunky and other times they're quite clean and I kind of think to myself I should perhaps reuse this one. Um, so if you've had any experience with that please do leave a message down below or uh, I'm going to enjoy my pipe, a swig of coffee, and try to navigate this fellow who's parked in the middle of the road. Alright people, thank you.